So, of course, you see the title. UGA has improved to 3-0 and on the season. They won 48-7 versus South Carolina this past week. And as you guys know, you're going to get your weekly Georgia recap. But, of course, before I get into this video, make sure to like, subscribe, turn notification bell. You guys help me out a little bit. And without further ado, let's get right into this video. Now, of course, starting off with Stetson Bennett, the dude picked up right where he left off. And he's really starting to get on a lot of people's radars at this point. 16 of 23, 284 yards. Three total touchdowns and actually led the team in rushing with 36 yards. He's making a case for the top quarterback in the entire country this year. I'd look out for Stetson Bennett. I don't know if he's going to win the Heisman. He wouldn't be my favorite right now, but I just keep him in the back of my mind because I think Stetson Bennett, he's really putting up a solid campaign to start off the season. Now, of course, looking at some of the wide receivers, we're going to go to an absolute freak, Brock Bowers, who did nothing short of dominate this football game. Five receptions, 121 yards, three total touchdowns, two receiving, and one rushing. Absolutely dominant. I mean, this guy's a freak. He's really a reminder of Rob Gronkowski, sort of. He's not as big as Rob Gronkowski, but I'm talking about the athleticism, the jumping ability, the speed, the breakaway. Brock Bowers has all of that, man. He has all the tools, and I wouldn't be surprised if he once again was the top tight end in all of the nation this year. Now, of course, going to the next receiver, we have Lab McConkey. Little solid and quieter day. Four receptions, 52 yards. But freshman tight end Oscar Delp caught his first touchdown for UGA during that game. Of course, of course, really, really good to see the young tight ends getting work and really the second unit getting work. I mean, our second unit is better than most first units as of right now. So that looks really good. And I'm glad the wide receivers could all get involved. Now, of course, going down to the rushing game. Now, hearing that Stetson Bennett led our team in rushing with 36 yards, you're probably thinking, Micah, this rushing game was probably a bit down. Well, I have a big surprise for you. The Bulldogs had their best rushing day of the season. 208 total yards rushing as a team. They had six players to go for over 20 rushing yards. So really, they just spread the ball around and they were able to get it to everybody. Really, really solid day running the ball for Georgia. Now, of course, going to the defense, the Georgia defense, I always keep it a little bit brief with them, but man, we got to show them some love. They've allowed 10 points the whole season so far. In three games, they've allowed 10 points. They forced three turnovers, and all of them were interceptions this game. Of course, Georgia has outscored their opponents 130 to 10 in the first three games of the season. Georgia's defense has not only been good, it's not been great, it has been historically dominant. They are the best defense in the first three games of a season that probably college football has ever seen, UGA's defense has been absolutely dominant, and I'm really, really looking forward to see what they can do the whole season. Will they be a better unit than they were last year? I mean, I wouldn't bet on it, but as of right now, it's looking like it's leaning that direction. Now, of course, going into the recap and really going into what's happening next week. Now, this was a much, much better win than last week. Last week, we were flat. Our offense looked pretty terrible last week, if I'm being honest. So this was a better win. Glad we got our focus back. Georgia, they dominate, and they're going to 100% be the number one next week. They're going to be the number one seed next week, which, I mean, isn't anything to, you know, rave over. It's only week four. The goal is to be number one throughout the whole season. Brock Bowers looked amazing, and he looked fully back today. I think coming into the season, he had a couple of injuries. He wore a shoulder brace earlier this season. I didn't really see that in the South Carolina game, so Brock Bowers looked back today really, really good. Overall, great win all around. I think UGA got their focus back. Their running game was there. All their receivers were able to get open, and this is against a pretty, pretty good SEC opponent. I mean, South Carolina is not a bad team, so I think this was a great win for UGA. Now, of course, going on to next week, Georgia has Kent State at home. Yeah, hopefully we go in focus. Hopefully we don't go in raw and looking disgustingly terrible on offense next week. I think UGA should really, really whip Kent State. I mean, Kent State, solid team. No disrespect to them, but come on. U UGA, they need to go in here. They need to go and get this win and take care of business, and I believe we are going to do that. Now, of course, of course, thank you for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, turn the notification bell. You guys help me out a little bit. It's really, really, really good to be doing these UGA videos. I'm going to give you guys a Falcons video tomorrow. So that would be Wednesday by the time you're watching this video. So I'm going to give you guys a Falcons video tomorrow. But of course, until we get to that, without further ado, I wish you nothing but the best. Stay love, stay blessed. Without further ado, I'm going to end this video. Thank you for watching. Now you're the one I'm thinking of. My higher grandma I get love For gravity I'd rather stay up here We can get away Palm cheese, peach, feels on a night day
wanna, wanna.